Hey there, Scott here. Your video is going to start in about 30 seconds. I just want to give you a little bit of context. The video you're about to watch is part of a series of educational videos. Some of them are taught by me. Some of them are taught by other instructors. The goal here is to bring in experts who have excelled in their niche or their industry over their career and let them teach over to you whatever they specialize in. There's a variety of tools, technologies, walkthroughs, sales, marketing, business, startup, growth concepts and ideas. Hopefully you can learn and the whole goal of all of these videos is to help you level up in your personal or your professional life. Enjoy. Welcome to Skillshare Premium Referral System. This is the Skillshare Premium Referral System I'm using to generate right now about two Skillshare Premium Referrals every day. Day. I'm really excited to share this with you because I think if you want to teach on Skillshare, making premium referrals is the key. Why? Because I'm bringing my own people then. When you've signed up through me to watch Skillshare, I, there's a good odds, a very good chance that if every one of these premium referrals is potentially a very enthusiastic student who will then watch more of my courses every single month. And that'll give me the chance to rank higher. All I literally need to do is make classes and generate premium referrals to be able to teach full time on Skillshare. So I've just started this referral system over the last couple months. It's working really well and I'm going to share each detail of it with you in the class. I'm really excited to do that and if you don't understand the referrals basics already, Here's what you'll want to know before getting started. So you get a link just like the top you see, skillshare.com slash r slash your username. So if you are not already signed up as a premium user, would you please use my direct link to sign up because I get a $10 bonus every time you sign up. I think what I just said is key to generating those premium signups to make the actual ask like I just did to actually ask people to sign up instead of just throwing the link out there, but to directly ask and explain why. When you get someone to sign up, the cool thing is it's only 99 cents to sign up. So I get $10 and meanwhile, people that want my classes only have to pay 99 cents. So that's a really good deal, I think, for everyone. This is the foundation of my Skillshare premium referral system in being willing to ask. You see sharing the link at the top of my videos and then sharing the details of what a good deal it is. It's only 99 cents for three months and openly admitting that I get $10 for each referral credit. So to me, these are the foundations of using the Skillshare premium referral system. And what I'll do is show you the whole system in detail with different options that I think you'll love. If you're going to make Skillshare premium referrals, I think there's one absolutely critical element. One thing that you should not even try or do this at all. Now, this is going to sound really simple, but yet at the same time, you need to be a premium member. Yes, you must be a premium member. If you're going to try and make referrals, why would you try and not be a premium member? I see teachers teaching classes on Skillshare who aren't premium members and therefore why would you want to try and make referrals? So I'm going to assume you're a premium member for the rest of this course after I present a little bit about premium. And I suggest mentioning these things in context with making the referral. When you know the features of Skillshare Premium, then it's a lot easier to pitch joining. I look through the features and I show them in my videos. So I show, look, it's only $12 a month or if you get annual, it's only $8 a month. This is one of the best values I've ever seen in education online because you get 14,000 plus classes you can download and watch on your phone. There's no ads and this supports teachers and you get little yearly membership perks also that I've actually used to sign up for the Noun Project as a part of this. So there's little, I think they're affiliate links or deals they've worked out, so I've already redeemed those. So I think it's absolutely critical to be a premium member and then show people your premium member on your profile here. Show them that this little star means that I've paid 
to be a premium member. I've paid to be a premium member, so I'm simply telling you about something that I really love and enjoy. Now, even if you are a premium member, you might think, okay, that's pretty straightforward. What's the other part to this? The other part is to actually watch other people's classes on Skillshare. Let's go see if I can watch my in-progress classes here. I was just watching Neil and Linda Sharing's class right before this. I use Skillshare myself. I learn. I'm taking classes. Now, before I started trying to make premium referrals, before I started using Skillshare that much, I didn't, as a teacher, I didn't learn that much on it either. But now I love watching classes on Skillshare because like if I just want to get a brief introduction like this, I started learning how to code Python in just a few minutes. I didn't have to pay $10 for a course and decide and then have buyer's remorse and then look at 50 different courses I bought and never used. I love Skillshare because I can just start learning and teaching. Like I clicked over here on their course and the beautiful thing is I started, I watched just what I wanted to out of the course. I plan to go back and watch some more after I'm done recording this. And this class motivated me that I was just watching to make a new class. I'm like, well, they've done really good explaining the changes. Why don't I show how I'm doing my premium referrals? So I think it's absolutely essential to be a premium member and to really know the benefits of premium and to really use those benefits yourself. Because it's harder to sell something you don't personally care about. You can see I'm passionate and I love premium membership on Skillshare, which makes it easy for me to sell it. I'm selling something that I personally use and love and enjoy and I'm continuing to learn and use more. I learned about a new program to make music, FL Studio on Skillshare. I don't buy classes on any other website now. If it's not on Skillshare, I'm not going to go shopping on some other website for it. And that's the power of Skillshare Premium. So I think it, I used to do a, for like a month, I did this MLM marketing program and they said when when the highest level you can reach, you are bulletproof. Your sales pitch will work in any situation, no matter how skeptical someone is and nothing anyone says to you will shoot you down. Well, I feel that you want to be bulletproof on a Skillshare premium membership if you're going to pitch it. So that means you should have absolute yes. This is something I love. This is something I pay for. And to specifically reference how you do it. I say I use the annual one because that's what I use. I like to save money. It's $96 once a year. That is a class every month. And then it's still cheaper. That's $120, so it's cheaper than getting a $10 class every month. It's an exceptional deal, the best value I've seen in online education. This, to me, is a critical foundation. Once you've got this, then you're ready to start selling these premium memberships as a part of teaching on Skillshare. How do my premium referrals actually come in? Now, I cannot show you the actual premium referral page itself right now because it has the actual student names on it. What I will show you instead is my workflow and this is the same mindset I use to drive premium referrals. So what I try and do is make at least two videos every day. And that's what I try and do in my business. That's something I control. Now today, I'm probably on video five or 10 already today. So I try and make as many videos as I can, but I try and do at least two videos every day. So with Skillshare Premium Referrals, what do I do? I try and make a referral every day. Just one referral. And I think I go with that in mind and my referrals are a function of how many videos I make. So if I make a few videos every day and I follow the rest of the system I'm going to show you, then that gives me a chance to make a referral or two every day. If you think about it in terms of, well, I want to make 60 premium referrals in one month, that's not how I think of it. I think of it, I want to try and convert someone every day through my system and that adds up to a lot over time. When you convert one or two people every day, then over time the minutes watched add up, the referrals add up and the whole snowball effect is in place. So I try and do with my teaching, I try and do with my referrals, just get a referral or two 
every day. And the question is then, if you're not hardly getting any referrals, just a few months ago, I only had one or two premium referrals. Now I've got 60 something in the last month alone. The key I ask myself is, on a daily basis is what am I going to do to give the most value today? What am I going to do to create the most value for other people? And then I naturally integrate my Skillshare referrals into that system. So when I think each day, how am I going to help the most people today? Then my Skillshare referral system is a part of that, which is awesome. And then I don't have to sit there and think, well, how am I going to get all the, how am I going to get 60 referrals or how am I going to get 100? I don't think that way. I think, what am I going to give today? And then I start asking better questions. At one point, I asked, what can I do to maximize the income I'm earning on Skillshare and help people who can't pay watch my courses anyway on Skillshare? When you ask better questions, you get better answers. If you ask, how do I bring a Skillshare referral in every single day? That is a much bigger question than trying to ask, how do I get 100 referrals? Getting a referral every day, that's hundreds every year. And that's a simple action call as well. It's a simple thing to do then. Well, I just need to make some videos every day. I need to pitch Skillshare and everything I'm doing all the time. I need to set up things to attract people into my Skillshare audience. So this is the mindset I use to get these premium referrals every day. This is the foundation of the work I do to get these premium referrals every day. And the key thing is once you've got these videos, once you make lots of videos, once you get a system to work every day, then that system will work for you every day. And just a one or two or three referrals a day doesn't sound like much, but $600, that does sound pretty good to me. So I appreciate you watching this. I'll keep going deeper and deeper into this premium referral system with you. Really simple, where do you get your referral link? To get your referral link, you go to skillshare.com slash settings slash premium dash referrals. Well, what I'll give you another way to get there. So you go over to your teacher profile, you go down to refer a friend, and it will take you over to this page. And then you should see this exact page here you can share your teacher profile directly. So what you've got right here is a link that can be copied and pasted. You can then directly tweet this on Twitter and you'll see the full link right here or you can put it on Facebook. Now just the same as you've seen me putting this link up the whole time, then the key is to integrate this link all over the place. However, this link only gets me about half of my total referrals. I use direct course links to get to the other referrals. So what you do on that, you go over here and in each class you're teaching, so if you go over to view profile, you'll see I'm teaching 68 classes right now. I go into the actual class I'm teaching here. Now every single class I'm teaching has one of these little referral links over here. Now these also generate referrals. Not only that, but there's one more way to generate a referral. So if you go to, that's a premium link only. Now if you also can go over here and go to promote, and then you can create custom links down here, you can create free links while you don't earn any money if a student enrolls on a free link. You do apparently earn money if a premium user uses a free link and you do earn $10 if someone uses your free link to your course and then signs up sometime afterwards on Skillshare. You'll know, for example, if you use anyone else's link, you'll be able to see at the top here, whoops, I took my face off, not the banner off. So you'll see at the top here, for a limited time, give your friends three months of Skillshare premium. So when you've clicked someone else's link, it will pop up in the top that Jerry Banfield has given you Skillshare Premium for 99 cents. So that's a really nice thing and you can confirm this is working correctly. So what I can do to confirm it, I'll go over here 
and then I will open incognito and I'll use my Skillshare direct referral link over here and then you'll see something like this. Jerry has given you three months of premium for only 99 cents. So then if someone signs up off this direct link, they make an account and sign up for premium, then I have a good chance to get that $10 from there. So these are the ways you generate your links and uh, I appreciate you watching this. I hope this is useful for you. What is the top way I'm currently using to make referrals across my entire business system? I'm actually doing something that you might think is insane by using this approach and yet this seems to be working really well to make me referrals. This is what's given me a breakout month and this is a comprehensive lead generation magnet. This is a comprehensive income earning system. This is a comprehensive funnel all in one simple place. I'm really excited to show you this if you haven't seen it already. See it live, see it actually on my website. Would you go to the link and take a look at today what it looks like because it may look different by the time you see it. It's at jerrybanfield.com slash free courses. Now I'll give you the setup to this page first. What am I doing in this page? This page has free coupons to all of my premium courses on Skillshare. Yes, this allows people who've just heard of me, who can't sign up, who won't sign up on Skillshare to take every Skillshare class with me completely for free. Not only that though, I've collaborated with other instructors to get their free coupons on this page as well. Now, if you want to get your free coupons on this page, you must be a member of my Facebook group, which is $25 a month. There's a link on the bottom of this page. So if you want to collaborate with me and get your free coupons on here and do this as well, then that's what it takes. So I've collaborated with other instructors. I've also found websites and resources where I can pull free coupons to brand new courses at places like the Udemy Studio and stick them straight on my page to make a page that's really valuable for people. So I have my paid courses all for free on here and then I I have other links to other people's courses as well. So I'll show you how this is working. So I've got this here. I've got the get free coupons to paid online courses. Now this is mine and other people's. Then I have my friend Michael. He actually updates this page and checks for invalid links. And then right below that, I've got a link to my Skillshare profile. So if I open this incognito, it, just like I did, you'll see it does the same thing as I just showed you a little bit ago. It, it takes straight to my referral profile. And so I've got a link, a button right at the top to make Skillshare referrals. And then I've got free coupons to all of my classes. I just list them. Now I think by the time you watch this, I should be able to remove all these premium links and just use free links because I think premium users using free links to premium courses still actually earn premium minutes watched. Yes, I'll say that again that that doesn't that's a lot of words all at once. Previously it seemed that premium students had to enroll in classes using premium links and then if they enrolled using free links it didn't count but now it seems that you get paid even if a premium student uses a free link. So before when I showed you, you can create using the view stats tab in a class and then you go over to promote, you can make free links that allow users to simply sign up with Skillshare and watch a premium class for free. So by the time you see this, these premium links may all be deleted and it may just be short links like this. I send an email to Skillshare to confirm before I go take off 68 premium links off of my list here. So what I do, I simply put the name of my class up here and then I've got the free premium link currently and the free link. Hopefully soon I'll just have the free link. And then what I do is I list every single class up here and I try and put them in the order people are enrolling. I mess around, I move the order around. And then some I messed up and created a bunch of free classes which don't earn you any money and I'm switching them over to premium. So, But I'm hoping after I take the premium and free out, the page will just look like this. 
And if you have a free class, you can put that on there as well. So what I do, I list all my classes on here. So this means someone, let's say in Bangladesh, who is not able to sign up or get any money to take a Skillshare premium membership, they're able to use these free links and take all of my classes on Skillshare for free. So I've got links to every one of my paid courses. I continue to put free links to all of my courses on here. And now I've got all my courses hosted on Skillshare. That way, if people want to take them, this is the only option. So this is a key resource because this is my one page that I want to drive everyone to. This is where I'm sending ad traffic to right now. This is where I'm sending people in my videos to to go redeem the courses because why try and get them to enroll in one course individually when I can send them to the free courses page and give them all of the courses at once. Now the beauty of it is if anyone signs up for a Skillshare premium membership using any of these links, I get $10. And what's happening is people are using lots of the different links and I'm getting $10. Like they're using this direct link and I'm getting $10 directly from this class instead of from the generic link up here. Or they're using all kinds of other classes to enroll and I'm generating a link from there. So the beauty of this page is it's not just my courses and you can literally, if you want to, scrape the coupons off of my website if you want to. That's fine. So what I've also got, I even though I'm banned from Udemy, I... I have people who can access the studio coupons for me and grab those and stick those on here. And then I have other instructors who've specifically given me their coupons for free. So I list all kinds of these free Udemy courses on this page also. So even if someone has no interest in Skillshare, this is still a really valuable coupon page even if you never take one of my courses. And then I've got little Google AdSense ads on here as well to test out and see if those make any money. So I've got a ton of free Udemy courses on this page as well. And then if you keep scrolling down and down, you see I've got just a ton of courses on this page. That way, I want people to just be blown away by this page. I want someone to see this page and go, this is amazing, wow. I can't believe this guy put all these free coupons in one place. I know because I used to look for free coupon pages as a student on Udemy and I was really impressed whenever someone made a good one. So I've tried to make one of the best coupon pages in the world for free courses online, including mine and including other people's. And then at the bottom of the page, I sell my Facebook group from there as well as my podcast. So I sell listening to my podcast down here and then I sell joining my Facebook group at the bottom of this. And if you want your coupons on this page, you have to be a member of the mastermind group to get your coupons up there. And this page then, this is my entrance. This is what I try and introduce people to who I am and what I do online. I'm, this gives me one spot to funnel everyone to because you see if someone uses any of these links, this then gets me a referral bonus from Skillshare. And then if people actually watch that are premium members, that gets me premium minutes watched. Even free members help get the courses enrolled, which then get the classes more likely to trend on Skillshare and attract more premium minutes. And even if people just are there for free, never going to sign up for premium, I'm building my followers up on Skillshare <laughs> and then I don't have to have an email marketing service. Skillshare will email all my free and paid followers with every single new class I make. So even if someone has taken 68 classes for free and they go click the link to enroll in the new class, it will be a premium only link. They might then convert finally from free to paid as they get annoyed with having to go check the free coupon page and seeing that I didn't add the coupon for a few days after the class was out, every single new class then gives me an opportunity to convert even more of the people originally just taking classes for free to convert a few of them up to a paid membership. So this is my, in painting terms, this is my masterpiece. This one page that's intended to be really, really useful. 
And even if people don't like my courses, I've set it up that people just might like the Udemy coupons. Or even if people just browse, they might click a Google AdSense page. So this page is the kitchen sink. And at the same time, it's almost all text except there's some images at the bottom of Google AdSense ads. So there's not a lot of images to load. It's easy to manage these links. It's very shareable. So to me, this having something like this is every Skillshare instructor could easily do this. Set up a page just like this that then lists the coupon links to your existing classes. And then if you want to advertise what you do, you can reach the entire world and just get people to enroll in your classes. You can literally scrape my website if you want even more free coupons from the other ones I'm using. You can put my free coupons up there if you wanted. Now keep in mind, the free coupons only have a thousand use limit. So I have to keep switching my free coupons whenever I get a thousand people that use them. But you can literally put all my Skillshare classes up there for free. And if, although if, if you did and they used my free link, then I would get the commission. So you might want to consider that. But I hope that you see how this is, it's crazy in the sense you're going to just give away all these classes. At the same time though, if I go out of business, I want to make sure I've done the very best I could to educate and help the very most people. So worst case scenario, I go out and say, look, I gave everything I had to give. Best case scenario, this is one heck of a snowball effect. If you hear all the things I just mentioned, this should snowball unbelievably. So I'm really excited about this and I'll show you some more ways to build on this system that I'm currently using. If you want a way to promote this system with Facebook ads, I'll show you exactly what I'm doing now to promote my premium referral links directly in Facebook ads. The beauty of the system I've shown you is that it lends itself really well to being promoted with advertising because it offers so much value completely for free on one page. And then if you can send a bunch of people to the page, you should be able to convert a $10 sign up here and there. You should be able to get more premium member minutes watched here and there. So here's a post I'm using on Facebook with a short video where I explain exactly how to use the page. And look at this, I've actually got my Skillshare link directly in the post as well. So the occasional person who wants to go straight to Skillshare who's already heard of Skillshare may go straight there to start watching my classes. So what I did, I published a video on my Facebook page and then you'll see this video is being very well received because I'm giving a bunch of paid courses away for free. So people are responding really well to it. You can see there's over a thousand people that have liked this. There's 189 shares, which is absolutely ideal. And then there's 46,000 views on this. So relative to lots of other videos I've seen, the ratio of likes and engagement and shares based compared to the video views on this is really good. So that's exactly what we want. And then all I have is a website conversion ad that tracks every time someone actually loads a page on my website. So once someone sees this ad and then goes to load a page on my website, Facebook tracks that and then is able to optimize using all of its data on exactly what kind of person might be looking for a paid coupon list. And in the video, I go through exactly in the video. I start off, I show the value proposition, which I just go over to the page. I show the page itself. And then when I go through in the video, I show the free coupons, I show the inside of the courses, and I show redeeming the free coupons on a third party website. And then I also explain about Skillshare Premium in the video. I request to directly use my link in the video and I show the link on the page. So I ask people directly to sign up for Skillshare through here. So the beauty of this ad, not only am I promoting myself, but I'm promoting a Skillshare Premium enrollment and I'm promoting the free coupon page itself. So this is an ad that covers a lot of different bases. And I think this ad has helped me start generating a lot more premium referrals. I've noticed the longer I've ran this ad, the faster my premium referrals have went up. And you might ask, well, okay, let me see your data on this ad. Let me give it to you. I'll show you my data on the ad. I'm gonna have to zoom out quite a bit though. 
and go back in here. So let's look at the free courses and I'm running this worldwide. I've targeted a bunch of different websites. Now I'm about to pause some ads that aren't working as well, but you can see the very most expensive ad is costing me 13 cents to actually get someone tracked on my website. And I have allowed the targeting and the conversions to track if someone for example, if someone views a hundred pages on my website, that will count as a hundred conversions because a person loading one page and looking at it versus a person who goes through and reads a hundred blog posts, those are drastically different kinds of people I converted. So I'm able to track things like post shares here. I'm able to track the cost on link clicks, page likes, and that's the beauty of this ad. So this ad has a ton of different ways to win them. So this ad might get me just a page like from someone who then I can reach with my live videos. This ad may just get someone who looks at the free courses and signs up for Skillshare for free. That's essentially got me a follower on Skillshare and an email subscriber. This ad may also get me a $10 conversion sign up out of Skillshare and more premium minutes watched in the future. The ad also may get me shares on the page. So someone might not do any of the following, but they might share it just because they see, wow, this is really good. And they know their friend takes online courses. So the ad potentially can get all these different ways to win in one particular scenario. And that to me is what's extremely powerful. You see when I'm paying 30 cents to get a page like on one of the highest categories here, I'm also getting two website conversions tracked out of that same 30 cents. So when I, every $2 I spend in this ad set, I'm showing ads to almost 10,000 people or so, and then I'm getting one post share, and I'm getting almost 10 page likes, and I'm getting more than 10 link clicks, and I'm getting about 10 post reactions, and I'm getting about 15 or so pages viewed on my website. So this is giving me a fantastic value with Facebook ads and the beauty of it is it's not just working targeting Skillshare. If it just worked targeting Skillshare, I'd say that wasn't very good, but I'm targeting all kinds of different categories with this ad and it's working in a ton of them. I've sorted it from worst to best. So those are the worst ones. Let me show you the best ones. The Code School Code Academy is pulling conversions on my website for four cents each, 15 cent page likes. Now this is all out of the same budget. So I'm getting 10 people like my page and one person to share it every time I spend $1.73. And I'm getting all those link clinks. And I'm getting dogs barking in the background. So this is an amazing way to be able to share and build premium referrals, build Skillshare followers. To me, this is just a complete snowball effect. And I, I even just spending a dollar or two a day on a few different targeting categories, I think can really add up over time. So thank you very much for watching this. I hope this is really helpful for you. And I'm excited to continue showing you more and more. I showed you the Facebook ads just before this because Facebook ads are really good for instant gratification. But the real beauty of this system is YouTube because YouTube brings free organic traffic and that's where the very best opportunities are. Because I turn off my Facebook ads, I'm gonna turn off my results. But on YouTube, I'm getting people coming into Skillshare on a daily basis for free. Now, it often you need to spend money and I'm spending money on YouTube ads to get my minutes watched up. You may need to spend a good bit of money anywhere from 10 plus to 100 plus dollars a day to advertise your videos to really get the ball rolling and I recommend doing an hour plus long tutorial videos. But I'll show you what I do and show you that YouTube is the most powerful part of this system. Why? Because YouTube brings that organic traffic in. So you'll see I'm grateful I've got 130,000 YouTube subscribers. I've been on YouTube 
for almost six years now, I've made over 1,200 videos. YouTube is the perfect partner you want to use for Skillshare and to use on this system. So what I'm going to do with this class is put up a part of it as a free preview video on YouTube and then go over and say, look, if you want to take the rest of the class, hit that free coupons page and you can get in and take the class for free. Or if you sign up for a Skillshare premium membership, you can then take uh, 14,000 plus other classes for 99 cents and I'll actually get paid for every minute you watch. So what I do on YouTube is I put up these free preview videos and that is what helps me then get a lot more people to come in and watch my Skillshare class. So I'll give you an example. I'll mute the volume on here because you don't need to hear me talk twice. So what I do is I do these new videos and then I put up previews of my classes and I show the free courses page on there. So then when people are searching for something like a Facebook ads and marketing class on YouTube, then they find my class and then look, I've got Skillshare premium enrollments and links to the free courses page directly included in the videos. So YouTube is an ideal traffic source to get people who are looking for you. And I've been doing this on a ton of different videos over the last several years online and YouTube has a huge snowball effect. You can see my statistics here. I also get ad revenue per, for putting videos on YouTube. And then while the views themselves aren't very valuable on YouTube, every person who makes the leap over to Skillshare, that is really valuable. And it takes a lot of effort. I didn't get a viral video. I've got a few viral videos now. 2.7 million views, 700,000, 600, 500,000. I've worked to, and, uh, to put together lots of videos. The shortest of them is 55 minutes. The longest of these is nine hours. So I put together these comprehensive tutorials that are as good or better than anything else in a category. And then in those, I pitch doing the Skillshare class. Now, the problem with this is on some of these, I've pitched the Skillshare class too well, and then it drops the YouTube stats. So, for example, let me show you this video. I actually pitched Skillshare so good that it's killed my watch time. So, if I look on the traffic sources, now I, I've gotten a lot of referrals through this Facebook class. I would bet some of them came in through this video. But I pitched the Skillshare class so well in it that people after a couple minutes say, yes, you're right. I'm going to stop watching this video on YouTube and go watch it on Skillshare. So it's a real artistic effort to try and give the best you can in the free tutorial, but don't pitch something that people don't pitch the free Skillshare class maybe quite up front so hard that people abandon the video. So I'll show you a different example here. So I've got this, I've got another tutorial. I, I've got a lot of tutorials. So I'll show you over here. I'll go to the watch time and I'll go over. Here's this best Facebook marketing tutorial ever for 2017. What a hype name, right? So what this one has done really well is getting in the suggested videos. Now you'll see this video is pulling 13 minutes Average suggested video watch time. Now that's incredible given that the video is two hours long considering some of my nine hour videos don't pull that average watch time. So this means when other people are watching someone else's videos, they're then watching my video next and they're spending an average of 13 minutes on it, which is amazing. So I'm recommending make free preview videos on YouTube but don't pitch the Skillshare free angle too early because then people are going to that actually convert are going to abandon the video and not get the watch time up. So on YouTube, you want to have that average view duration as high as possible. And that means long in-depth tutorials, which is good because you can then use a section of the classes you already are making. So when I've got all these classes like this, I have a Facebook ads class here that contains all of that video is in this Facebook ads class. So the whole video is in this Facebook ads class. However, there's also 10 more hours. 
So some of this just comes down to shooting as many videos as you can, which goes back to my whole workflow thing. So you make as many videos as possible. You go in deep, in depth, talk it out. Some people, sure, you might be turning this on 2x speed and if I talk a little bit faster, I'm gonna really troll you because you won't be able to hear it at 4x speed than when I talk twice as fast as usual. Whoa. So you might have the, you're welcome to put my videos on 2x speed. Now for minutes watched, you only get one minute of actual minutes watched, not if, so if you watch this on double X speed, I actually get half the income per view, which is fine. I want you to enjoy the course. So I try and talk at a pace that's natural, that feels good for me. So you want to make lots of these long, in-depth tutorial videos, and then you essentially can just build your Skillshare class, finish your Skillshare class. So if you make a Skillshare class, you can then take like half the class and put that class up for free as a preview on YouTube and then once people have watched 10, 20, 30 minutes in it, then really sell hard or put in a little sales pitch at the, maybe a gentle sales pitch at the beginning, a harder sales pitch in the middle and a really thorough one at the end, convert people after they've got into the middle of the video over to watching on Skillshare. And that way you can max out your stats on YouTube because you want to max those YouTube stats in order for the video to get discovered on YouTube. If you sell too hard at the beginning, it won't get discovered on YouTube as much. So you want the video to really do well on YouTube suggested videos and YouTube search especially. As my friend Joseph Delgadillo says, the YouTube search is the blue collar work on YouTube. YouTube search, you can get found and discovered there no matter how big your channel is. Now, it, you can also do that in suggested videos and then once you get your channel even bigger, you get to cheat with browse features which are just given to you by YouTube recommending the videos. And then you get all these things like Google search from external. There's all these other features that Google own, who owns YouTube funnels in to you to give you traffic. The bottom line is you want to make YouTube videos that get people to watch the video on YouTube as long as possible and then gently convert them over to Skillshare using either your premium links or using free links, which then if they sign up as a premium member at some point, you still convert over. So I realize it can be intimidating if you, wherever you're at based on your subscribers, just look at giving the most possible on YouTube. I'll show you my friend Joseph. He had hardly any subscribers, maybe just a handful or something. And what has he done? He's followed my exact advice. He's put up all these free tutorial videos. Joseph's actually a partner with me on my jerrybanfield.com slash partners page. So Joseph has actually used my tutorial videos to get himself thousands of subscribers and then he's combined that with his own tutorial videos and now he's over 3,000 subscribers. He has a business he can work full time selling courses online. This is how powerful YouTube is. So the idea is YouTube is a really good long term traffic source. The problem is YouTube does not usually work fast. So I suggest a combination, make as many videos as you can, Try and get free coupons out, advertise on Facebook to get some of that initial momentum. And meanwhile, I'll be looking at YouTube as your home run. YouTube is my home run. I doubt I'd have hardly any referrals without, I would say at least half of the referrals in January came from YouTube. And I bet I'm gonna be able to pull 500 or 1,000 referrals a month as I scale this system up, which will be great for every premium instructor. Our revenue pool will all be collectively increasing. So if you've seen this has worked for Joseph and this is continuing to work for more people too. My friend Jordan is doing a similar thing. He's getting close to 1,000 subscribers and he just started on this a couple months ago. He's getting great videos out and making new courses. So this works wherever you're at. It works whatever you want to teach. Technical classes work the best, but you keep working on YouTube and you can continue to build an amazing YouTube channel that will do some incredible things for you. If you want to learn more about this, just check into some of my other YouTube classes on Skillshare and you'll be able to see much, much, much more than you'd ever want to know about YouTube. What if you want to sell your courses on another website, either your own website and or some other third-party website? 
Here's a way to do it with the exact system I just gave you. So you can make one slight little modification to this if you want to sell class on a third party website. Now the problem is Skillshare is such a good deal for the user, you may have a hard time selling a course on another website because hey, who would wanna pay $10 for a course when they can pay 99 cents for all your courses or even get all of them for free? Still, I make sales every day on my website because somehow after all of my efforts to get people to take my class for free, people still sometimes are buying my courses. Now, I also have other people's course bundles up for sale, but let's look at specifically one of mine and see how you can match this up with Skillshare or a third-party website. So some people just cannot or will not sign up for a Skillshare premium membership no matter what you do. Well, I have a option for that on my website. So you can see this is the complete Facebook ads and marketing course 2017 on my website. Now what do each of these little links go to? Each of these little links are short links over to one of my Skillshare classes. So when you use one of these little short links, it brings you up to one of my Skillshare classes. So each of these five links on my individual product takes you to a Skillshare class, Use which then if you pay $9, you get a free coupon of these five classes. Now, yes, I realized, well, Jerry, aren't you giving all your courses away for free on another page? I am. If someone looked around my website, scrolled down here, went to free course coupons, or I even have a hello bar thing that pops up on the top that says, hey, all my classes are free right here. Still, someone most days comes through and buys this $9 course bundle. I'm very grateful for that. I look at it like a donation. I really appreciate it. And then what they get are links to free Skillshare classes. So if you want to have your class, let's say you want to have your your course hosted on a place where it's one-time purchases, what you could do is use WooCommerce, W-O-O Commerce. All of these things that I mentioned, you can see if I pull the resources page up over here. All of these things are up on my resources page that I mentioned. So I'll just search for WooCommerce. You search for here, I've got a direct link to the WooCommerce plugin. So I use WooCommerce to sell my classes on my website and then I give them a PDF with free coupons. So if you have courses, let's say on a third party website where it's a one-time purchase and you have classes on Skillshare, you could literally do all of them with one button. So you could upload it to Skillshare, you could upload it to third party website and you could sell a PDF on your own website and then the beauty of it is if you get banned from one of your third party websites something like me if you direct everyone to your website first you can adjust all these buttons based on your ideal format so this page used to go offer a free coupon to one of my Udemy courses and then I got banned and now I've switched it over to and I was hosting it on Teachable then it offered a PDF to my Teachable. Now I've I'm getting rid of my Teachable. Now it sends everyone over to Skillshare. So if you've got your course on multiple websites, you can simply put different options to link it here. And you can give people the option to just buy a free coupon on all the websites based on whatever they want to use. And then, oh my God, Jerry, something else? Yes, and then you can even pitch things on this page like, sell it on Amazon. So if someone comes to my Facebook ads and marketing course off of one of my old YouTube videos, they get links to five of my Skillshare classes, they get a link to buy a cart, and then they also get a link to go listen to my book on Amazon or Audible, and they get a link to go join my Facebook group, and I just threw in an AdSense ad that'll hopefully display down here as well. So you can really throw the kitchen sink in on a product page. Now, I always suggest simplicity as much as possible. Uh, for me, I've got traffic coming to these pages already. I've got everything set up on YouTube and I've changed things so many times it's just easier to just manage the traffic I've got on the pages. It's better to have a simple business system. It's great to give people choices though. Some people are just not going to go pay $10 to buy a course on a website. Other people are just not going to sign up for a subscription on Skillshare no matter what. Other people might be willing to pay you directly with Bitcoin, but they're not going to fool around with either third-party website. So if you have options for all your courses where you can take them, then you can show off 
the landing pages. For example, Udemy offers really nice landing pages with reviews. You could say the complete course, whatever, and then you could say access the course, and then you could have links as seen on this website, and you could have people click over there, and then you could have options to Skillshare, you could have options to stack skills, you could have options to whatever other websites your course are on. This way, if people already use that website, let's say someone comes to this page, they're already a Skillshare Premium member, they go click over here, and they look at the class and they say, wow, that's great, I don't even have to pay anything, and they start watching for free immediately and start earning you more minutes watched. So if you want to use other third-party websites but you don't want to waste all of your time and energy or you don't want to do free coupons, you can use WooCommerce or some kind of a shop plugin to allow people to take your courses on all the different destinations that are possible. You can allow them to pay you directly, you can allow them to go straight to the third party websites. And then you've got them on your website, if something changes, you can simply change your landing page. This way when you set all these YouTube videos up, and then for me, I've I set up a lot of videos showing my courses on Udemy, and then they got rid of me, Fortunately, I linked them directly to my website in the YouTube video, so I still get a ton of people coming look straight on my website every day for classes, and now a lot of them are coming and going over to Skillshare. So I'm grateful to have this experience to share with you. I hope it's helpful. If you've got your courses on other websites and you don't want to, just pitch Skillshare 100%. What if you could sell your courses as books also. When you take the time to make a video class, you might be able, depending on the subject, to translate it into an audible book. You might be able to just take the audio itself and put that straight into an audio book and then sell that. And you might, once you've got the audio dictated, you can actually get the audio into a Kindle or paperback book as well. So if you want to really expand what you're doing, you can turn all of your Skillshare classes into hard copy books, Kindle books, and even audio books and expand your potential audience. I think this is a great thing to do if you're starting out just to learn how these skills work because then you've got all these different channels to use. And then you can teach how you went and did all these things. Now, it's a little challenging, to get books published on Audible. You need a Kindle and or paperback version first on Amazon. You then need to go sign up on acx.com. That's Alpha Charlie X-Ray, acx.com. That is also known as Audio Creation Exchange or something like that. And then once you've got your book on Amazon, you can then publish an audiobook, and I'm getting a lot of people who are coming to me and saying they discovered me on Audible because Audible is, I am an Audible Platinum member, whatever their top level is. Audible is kind of like Skillshare for audiobooks. The nice thing is Audible's got a ton of customers in the US and Great Britain especially as well as plenty in Australia and Canada. So there's tons of chances on Audible to get found through organic search. Here's an example. I searched for Facebook. Now there's my book. It's up at the top with a 3.4 rating, but my book is also the newest by a year up on the top too. So if you want to teach about Facebook, it's not very competitive at all. Do you see how not competitive it is on here? Audible, there's just not that much great there's not that many books and especially there's not new ones because as difficult as it is, like I see Dave Kirpin here from Likeable has his book up, but it's it's over four years old now. And sure, it may have some good general principles, but the problem is on Audible, it's so difficult to get a book up on Audible that you end up, if you don't have a nice system down to do it, it keeps a lot of people out of the market. But the nice thing is it's relatively easy to get your book up there and there's not as much competition. For example, if I search, let's search for Fiverr on here. If you teach a course on Fiverr, then how many courses are there? There's only 17 results that come up at all for Fiverr. I managed to get my book up here third on Fiverr, even though that's one little thing in my cover. Let's go Upwork on here. You see there's only two books 
on Upwork. So some of these categories on Audible are just wide open. And one of the best things you can do, if you can search on Skillshare, I'll take you over here and I'll search for something like Poloniex. So you obviously need to have some skills and do something. Uh, you need to have some skills you can teach and you learn those skills and you can teach them relatively quickly after that. If you search on Skillshare and see there's no courses on it, I searched and saw there was no course on Poloniex. Poloniex is a exchange based in the US where you trade things like Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies, Dash, Ethereum, etc. And then if you search for it on Poloniex and then you go back over and search on Audible, you'll see, well, look, there's not one book on Poloniex. That's what I'm talking about. There's no competition on Audible for Poloniex. So I have a 49-minute video course up here. And if I get the video course transcribed, I can get it into a Kindle and paperback. Now, I need help with this. You might be able to do it yourself. But I have a friend, Michael Gerard. I pay him to transcribe the audiobooks into in he he's listed directly on the free courses page so i pay him to after i get the transcriptions done from rev.com so i'll show you rev.com here rev.com produces transcriptions for a dollar a minute and they're done usually within 24 hours so i got a 40 minute course that means for 40 minutes or 40 I could get this transcribed for $49, everything I say in the book. And then if, for example, I wanted to publish that, I'd have Michael edit it and get it in the right format. Then I'd have a Kindle and a paperback available for the Poloniex book. And then I could just take the audio that I did from my Poloniex from the Skillshare class and stick that up on Audible. And then I have no competition you make about four or five dollars a book sale on Audible and on Amazon. You make like a dollar off of a two or not, uh, two ninety nine Kindle book, maybe two dollars off of four ninety nine. The paperback you actually make good money on lots of times, like five or ten dollars on a paperback sale. So this, the point of showing you all this is that you can get your stuff out there in another format where there's very low competition, and then you only need. Once, like if you know how to do Poloniex, you see there's only one other course on it. You can see there's people taking it, so it's proof that it's a topic people are interested. You see there's no competition on here. So what you've got then, you can, each of your courses that you do, you spend all this time making a class, you can get it out in all these different formats. And then we've got all these different formats. All those collect, while none individually might make you a bunch of money, the combined impact of all of them might make it easy for you to work full time. I made over $1,000 last month on Audible with six or seven audiobooks. If I search for Jerry Banfield, you'll see I just got another new audiobook out today. So, yeah, one of them got rated two stars. So, I don't even hardly look at the ratings anymore because it's my responsibility to create for people and put it out there. So, I made about $1,000. I made maybe like 1200 on Audible last month and I have 10, what is that, three, six, I have like eight books on Audible right now. So Audible is can be very low competition in certain categories and if you especially you find something that's low competition you can teach on Skillshare, you get that over into an Amazon book. I wonder if there, there probably is a book on Poloniex. Wow, there's not a book on Poloniex on Kindle. There's not one book on Poloniex on Kindle. That's amazing. I'm really selling myself on doing a Poloniex book here. So you see, this is how you find opportunities. You just look at the things you already know how to do and then see which of those things you can teach. If you teach it first on Skillshare, you find it's missing. Skill, the video is the highest format. You can put it on other websites and then you can essentially dumb it down into an audio book or into a written book and a Kindle book. So if you think from the beginning, now I didn't do this before, but now I'm thinking from the beginning with my classes to try and do them in a way that I can essentially put into these lower formats. 
That means for like an audio book, I don't want to sit there and say, well, you see, you see, you see. What? Which on a video class, it makes sense. Like I can go over and say, do you see? I, I mean, I've got the class up right here. Do you see? But on an audio book, that doesn't make sense because they can't see. So what I'm doing is trying to keep this in mind and make specific classes that you don't need to see that can be a Skillshare class and an audiobook and a hard copy and Kindle. And then for one hour of creative work, I'm getting it out in a ton of different formats. And then you can put all this together because lots of people, I've got one client in particular, they found me looking around on Audible. They were searching around on Audible for Facebook and uh, Jerry Banfield comes up on Facebook and then they got over into my Skillshare classes after that and discovering how cheap Skillshare is. Now they just are watching my classes on Skillshare. They don't want the audiobooks. So if you can use some of these other marketplaces like Amazon and Audible to funnel people over into Skillshare, you can get some really good premium referrals then and premium minutes watched. So I appreciate you spending this time with me to get some insight into how to do these things. Hey, guess what? There's not a class for ACX, baby. There's not one class on Skillshare. I'm planning a class very soon. I've been saying that for three months, I think. I'm going to get a class up on ACX to show you this whole process. So maybe it's February 1st, 2017. Maybe by this time there's a class up like that. So just check for it and maybe you can teach one too. Thank you and I hope this is so helpful for you. Thank you very much for making it all the way to what might be the end of this class for now. For the class project, would you share what you've learned? To, would you help me teach this class? If you really like something in a class, would you just put a quick screenshot in the class project and say, this is what I learned, this is what I'm doing. And if you found this class helpful, would you go leave a review on it and say what you found helpful? Some people, no matter what I do, are just going to say, I didn't like this, they'll be turned off by one thing or another. When you recommend this class, you'll help other people to get the same experience you did out of it, especially if you'll write a quick public review. When I take a Skillshare class, if I learn anything out of it, if I learn anything out of it, I go leave a good review and say what I learned so that the other students that are taking it have the chance to get the same experience as me. Now, my question for you is how are you going to apply what you've learned today? I would love to see that in the class project. And I'm grateful that just, I've only been teaching, uh, taking Skillshare seriously, I guess, for about three months. And I'm grateful 630 in pending payments already, which is more than I've earned in the whole rest of the year I've been on Skillshare. So this system works. It works really good. And if you see any more videos after this, it's February 1st, 2017. If you see any more videos after this, I'll follow up with more new things I've learned and any relevant changes to the system. I'm so excited to share this with you because the more people you bring to Skillshare, the more money we all have the chance to make on Skillshare. So the more of us that bring in our own referrals, the more referrals I bring in, the more it may help you as a Skillshare instructor to be able to get more students to watch your classes too. We're all doing this here together. I think as a student, Skillshare is one of the best values I've ever seen, Skillshare Premium is an absolutely outstanding educational value. So I'm going all in. I'm putting my classes on Skillshare as the highest medium of delivery for them. I'm getting them out there and giving free previews, giving free coupons, doing whatever it takes to make sure I'm helping people learn every day. Now, to apply this system, it's just a matter of workflow. It's just a matter of optimizing. I have a family. I have a wife. I have a daughter. I go to Alcoholics Anonymous one meeting a day for an hour because I'm an alcoholic. And I also take my dogs for a walk for an hour every night. I've got a lot of things to do in my life and yet I make time for what's most important. I make time for my family because I feel much better. And when I feel better, I communicate that to you in the classes, you know when I'm feeling good. You know when I'm full of passion. You can feel that. So this is about creating a beautiful, happy life for ourselves and for the people around us. And that's, to me, 
That's what gets me excited. I'm excited to keep working on this with you every day. I'm excited to keep sharing the opportunity on my free courses page on my website for people to get a completely free education around the world. People who might not have access to universities or classrooms or might not be able to afford it. I'm happy to be able to offer people something of massive value on my website. I'm honored that I have a business system you've supported enough that I can give away all the most valuable things I do online and still be able to just play around in my bedroom on a daily basis and have the chance to help you. So that is the world. My mission is to create happier people. And at the center of executing any system, is remembering why. Why are you executing the system? Do you just want a few bucks? Do you just want like $600 out of a premium referral? Or do you want to make a real difference and help all human beings everywhere and maybe even on a galactic level to help all, all of us have a wonderful life and to have fun to make this heavenly instead of a hellish realm? Thank you so much for spending this time with me. I try and make new videos for Skillshare every single day. I try and put YouTube preview videos up as often as possible. So thank you. I hope this has been awesome for you and I hope to see you again in another class.